HDR on Windows is a real mess, okay? And the problem is not where you set your slider here. Some things are going to look very good, and a lot of things are going to look kind of washed out and wrong, okay? So in this video, I'm going to share with you a solution that's going to be very easy. Okay, so for, so for those people who say, bro, I don't want to mess with HDR settings anymore. Just give me a set and forget solution. I just want to open the games. And of course, I want them to look good. Uh, but, you know, I don't care too much about getting the absolute best picture quality and use the HDR analysis tool to lower the black floor and then do the tone mapping and this and that. I don't care about that, bro. I just wanna just a switch, a toggle. I wanna use HDR on my display, so I don't wanna have to be turning it on and off, you know, depending on the game, if it supports HDR or not. I just want things to look good and easy. Here is the solution for you. See, the problem is when we are using this slider, this is for SDR content inside HDR. So Windows HDR is on, and this is going to give you more brightness for SDR content. So I am not talking about native HDR implementation, which unfortunately a lot of games don't have, even brand new games coming out today with the latest and greatest technology and ray tracing and all of that. Unfortunately, they, they forgot about HDR. Even when, you know, on Real Engine, HDR is just a switch. <laughs> no work whatsoever. And you can actually do that with Reshade. It's very simple. But anyway, we don't have HDR support for every single game. So you can use this technique I'm going to share with you today. It's not the absolute best, but it's very easy and it looks very good, especially if you have one of these LG OLED TVs that have tone mapping. I'm going to share with you uh, how to fine tune it for your TV if, if you're looking for uh, an improvement, a little bit better image quality. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to download these files from the link in the description of the video. I didn't create this, okay? Full credit goes to Dilaranga from GitHub. I share with you previously a different way to use this, but that way was not for every single, it was, you couldn't fine tune it for every single brightness level depending on your display. So this is better. And that way I shared with you before was a little bit cumbersome because you had to download an ICC profile and some people couldn't you know, apply it. Uh, it's kind of a mess to apply a simple ICC profile on Windows, okay? So this way I think it's easier. And after you set it up, all you have to do is apply, revert. Apply, revert, depending on the game. And most games, you're going you're gonna to use it with it apply. And for those unicorns, which I'm going to share with you two examples, one where you don't want to use this, and one, Black Myth Wukong, where you do want to use this option. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to download this. It's just a zip file that you're going to unzip here. And you're going to download that from this link in the description of the video. And after you do that, you're going to open this uh, generator. This is an LUT generator, a LUT generator, which is this one right here. So you come to this article that I'm sharing, link in the description of the video. You scroll down. I'm going to have the direct links. But you can scroll down here, download step number one, step number two, go here, and my recommendation here, especially if you have one of these LG OLED TVs, is that you type in here where it says SDR white, type in 480. Okay. Now, if you have a different display, 
feel free to type in whatever you want <laughs> from brightness and see how that looks if it's, it may be better for your display and then here you're gonna type in the gamma power 2.2 so now here's the thing in my experience most games seem to be using originally SDR gamma 2.2 but there might be a game that's 2.3 and how do you know or 2.4 you can maybe explore the config file, or maybe the game setting is called 2.3. Maybe that might be a clue. Uh, for example, I saw uh, Sifu. Sifu on the config file said 2.3, if I remember correctly. So you can you know, get it specifically for that. But for most games, 2.2 is going to be the original SDR you know, color grading, calibration that the developers worked on. Um, so this is what you want to use. And if you have an AMD GPU, here's your, uh, your checkbox. If you have NVIDIA, here's your checkbox. Box. So what this is going to do, and before I tell you that, 480 nits, the reason why I recommend that is because that is equal to this Windows content brightness value that we have here. So when you max out this slider, this is 498, so almost 500 nits. Uh, so basically what I did was, okay, I'm gonna change this until I get 100 here, and that's where I stop. Because I'm going to max out that brightness slider. Why would I do that? Because on my TV, when I have HDR on, I can get more brightness. If you have an LCD TV that looks as bright on SDR, then you don't need this. You can just use SDR, max out the brightness, and calibrate uh, the settings to your own TV. But if you have one of these OLED TVs that look brighter on HDR, this might be a better solution. Okay, so then what you're gonna do is click generate, and this is going to generate all these values okay all you're gonna do here is to copy and paste you're gonna copy and paste the whole thing gonna click copy here you get the idea and then come to your folder and open this lut.com lot.com and open that with a notepad and you're going to replace the default thing so you're just gonna paste that thing, save that, and then you're going to click here, sRGB to gamma. You're gonna double click that. You will see that a window is going to pop and disappear, and that's it. All you have to do when you open a game that looks washed out is you come here. Of course, you know, once you click, it's done. You don't need to touch it again unless you restart the PC or turn it off if you want this fix to stay every time you restart the PC or turn it off and back on you're gonna click here auto start so when Windows starts this is going to apply this sRGB uh, to gamma 2.2 transformation or whatever is going on here okay just make sure you don't change the location of this folder so every time you restart the PC or turn it on and back off, uh, off and back on again, this works. That's it. So let me show you an example where this doesn't uh, work. It's not that it doesn't work. It works, but you don't want to use it. For example, this game that looks crushed. So if you have that apply and you're opening a game and looks too dark, near black is too dark, you cannot see well, looks too much, uh, there's too much contrast, okay? Then don't use it, then you come here, I'm gonna show you, you click revert, and go back to the you know, default Windows uh, you know, setup, and it's gonna look right. So there is very rare. There are some games. Uh, it seems like developers that understand how Windows 
you know, HDR and gamma and all of that, they understand how that works, so they, they set it up to be sRGB instead. Uh, but that's rare, but it happens. There are, I've seen many examples. But if you are playing, so let me turn it back on again so you see that it works. I turn it on. You see now? It looks significantly darker. So now let me show you Black Myth Wukong. For Black Myth Wukong, which doesn't support HDR, and the reason why I'm making this video is because I tried um, what I consider the best auto HDR trick for Black Myth Wukong, and for some reason it's crashing. And I don't know why, because it's Unreal Engine, and Unreal Engine games work very, very well with this uh, trick. So what I'm talking about is this, it's called Major Pain the Cactus Atom. So it's a reshade atom, so I was trying that because it's the best looking, but it was crashing. So I said, okay, so if you're having the same experience, maybe you know about this Major Pain the Cactus Atom to reshade and Lilium shaders and Lilium's inverse tone mapping, and you try to get that and it's not working for you, it's crashing for some reason, then just do this, this method that I'm sharing with you. So now for Black Myth Wukong, I'm gonna show you here on the image calibration screen. Of, co of course, this is going to be very dark. Maybe my camera is not picking up this thing here. Let me max out the brightness so you see the difference. So if I turn off this, if I revert back, you will see that this looks way too bright. So let me set it to 50% so you see the difference. Now on the camera, this might be visible, but if I turn this, if I turn this on, it might look too dark. It might, you might not be seeing anything, but I can see it and that is barely visible and that's how it should look. So now with this fix, the game brightness and gamma looks, it looks good. It looks good. Now let me say that I saw the gaming tech video about Black Myth Wukong and he find out that the SDR based game had the black level race, that might be a bug and on his end. I don't see it here, but you know how PC is. Sometimes someone is having an issue um, and, and another one is not. So maybe the, the, the game itself does have the black level race, but this benchmark tool, at least, on my PC, it, it doesn't have the issue. So maybe the PS5 or the real game has the issue, or maybe in some levels you have like a fog effect or a color filter or something that is giving you that black level race. But the thing is, I don't see it. Uh, you can see here the graph. It is uh, okay. So the gamma looks right with this fix. And you can see it here on the graph too. Now, if you have an LG TV specifically, Here's, here's what I would recommend you. We have this slider max out, okay? And we're going to use tone mapping off. This is going to work for any LG TV. If you have the G4, you're gonna push more brightness. So any, but any LG TV you have, set this HDR tone mapping to off, then come here, one, 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 three, one, one, one and set this master and pick max CLL to 540. And on top of that, if you have a C4, G4, set the values to 100% inside the tone mapping options you have here. Set the values to 100% so you get even more brightness. So it, it roll uh, off um, almost none, okay? Uh, maybe if, if you are crushing the whites, if you're clipping, maybe lower it uh, to the previous value. But I think at 100% it should be fine because there's no highlights here to clip. You're just trying to get more brightness. Um, so yeah, that's my recommendation. Of course, the, the benchmark performance is being affected with the HDR analysis tool. I'm gonna remove it. 
So you can see here the performance I'm getting is um, absolutely terrible for the settings I am using. Um, yeah, this is not this is not good. I, this is frame generation, 1080p upscale. It looks absolutely horrendous with the settings I'm using, 100 frames, but this looks disgusting. <laughs> okay, this I cannot play like this. It's absolutely terrible. Let me show you the settings I'm using. Um, and with less than 100 frames, um, yeah. <laughs> it, the thing is, it looks bad, man. It looks bad. I, I don't have a way to play this game right now. It, it just looks terrible. Um, you might say, oh, it looks terrible because you need to increase that and you know get a better GPU, right? Well, I increased this to 100%. Use DLSS, TSR, XCSS, whatever. It looks overly sharp and all the tech reviewers have confirmed this okay so the only difference between them other reviewers and me is that my position with the issue is I don't play the game and this sucks and it's a deal breaker for them they mention it as okay this is a problem but they don't make that the end of the world for me it is because I actually want to play the game okay and this is very bothersome to me but so even if I max out this use TSR, DLSS, it looks terrible, absolutely terrible, but well, I was using 50% here for that benchmark, and these are the settings, if you are curious, so yeah, it is, it is terrible, but yeah, about this, let me know if you have uh, any questions, uh, again, this is very simple, once you download this, you get this um, calibration depending on, the, on your GPU. If you have an AMD GPU, you click here or NVIDIA. And depending on the brightness you want, the, you know, depending on your display, after you have these files, all you have to do is just click auto start. So every time you restart a PC, uh, it works. Uh, and then if the game looks too dark, then you revert back to the way it was and then you're good and make sure you revert for native HDR contents this is only for SDR originally SDR gamma 2.2 content and that includes everything that's originally SDR gamma 2.2 you do not want to use this for native HDR you don't want to use this for RTX HDR and you do not want to use this for this major pain the cactus add-on that I was talking about. So link in the description of the video. Let me know your thoughts and opinions and if you have any questions.